Well, this horse Mango uh, brought me here really because he has cord compression. Um, the owner wanted to do something for him and I'm in a project that I'm sort of funding myself of putting stem cells in the spinal cord at the time of the cervical fusion. So this is an opportunity for me to do it. And we had done eight horses over in Lyon that were normal horses. Now this is the second horse that's actually had cord compression. So the eight horses we did in Lyon were to make sure we were going to do no harm. We went in with a needle scope at the time of surgery and you can insert the 22 gauge needle right into the spinal cord and inject the stem cells right into there. So we've been involved with the treating horses with cord compression or wobblers for a number of years, actually since 1977. And so it was another chapter, you know, in, in the treatment of them. And of course, you know, stem cells are the real rage. <laughs> and it seemed like it would make sense that if you're going to repair the damaged nerve tracts in there, that if you had some primordial cells in there, maybe they're going to make it repair faster. And I, I grew up on a cattle ranch, you know, just kind of like our horses. And if you don't like horses, I mean, what kind of person are you? For, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of universities now want to have private practitioners come in and uh, seniors, students or juniors or whatever see that that practice, I see the veterinarian come into the school and they want to know if they can go for six or eight weeks to the place or whatever. So I think it's really important. And, and I wouldn't I'll limit myself to one species. I mean, some people say, oh, I just want to do horse work. But you know, you can, man, if you can do an intestinal anastomosis on a cat, it's doing one on a horse or foal is no problem, you know, and all the little workup techniques and you hit a vein on a cat, you shouldn't have any trouble with a horse, you know, you gotta just, and we're supposed to be doctors and you're supposed to understand all the stuff and should have pride in it. Although people say that uh, after they get their uh, necks done, you know, they'll start getting a better circulation to their hand right away, their hands aren't as cold. We don't recognize that in horses too much because they don't tell you, <laughs> and we don't put thermography on them. But some of them seem like they're a lot happier 30, 40 days from now. But, yeah, it takes a while. Yeah, I just hope it goes good for my, I, like, I got a couple of grandsons with a little horse in them too, so I hope it's out there for them. <laughs>